Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of how to make a browser game for dummies. So you probably won't believe it, but I'm back for a new episode. <laughs> it's been five months guys, a very long time and I'm extremely sorry for that. But the reason is that I've been uh, very busy with my in real life company. So YouTube has been the first thing to go to make place for that. Um, I'm very sorry, but you now I'm back for a new episode and I'm also planning on sticking to a schedule, like doing one video a week at least. That should be feasible. That should be a thing that I can, you know, I can do that, I think. So this episode is going to be a little bit different from the other ones because I have to get back into the code. Um, I've already been clicking around a little bit and, uh, you know, looking at the code and checking out what I did. And uh, that's the wrong folder. And uh, seeing like, what was I doing? What's the what's the setup? And I found out this little error that we will have to fix that you guys probably also have. And there's also a few other things that I want to talk about. Uh, I got a little list here. Oh, oh shit, that's my, oh, 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 oh. Okay, there we go. Uh, excuse my French. Okay, so anyways, I've also been thinking about uh, let me actually my notes. Okay, my absence. Yeah, we got that. Getting subs in Patreon. We talked about that. Okay, so throwing the game live. That's something I've been thinking about. I've um, re uh, how do you say that in English? Jeez, uh, I've registered, re registered. I've got a domain called open uh, dash rts dot com. Uh, it's like this: open dash rts dot com dot com. And I've uh, registered that, that thing. And I've also got a hosting for it. So I think it might actually be quite fun to put it online. Uh, so you guys can check it out, like functioning, like really being a website and you can visit it and make an account and do your things. Um, so with that, with, 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 oh my God, my English. With getting a server comes the fact that you have to put it on that server. So I've been thinking about getting a, uh, oh well, um, dedicating a future episode to putting it on the server, putting it on a live server. Um, that, that should be quite helpful for you guys uh, when you want to put a website online uh, visible to other people. I also um, want to integrate Google Analytics in our little game so that we can see what people are doing, what they are, which pages they are viewing, uh, etc. etc. Uh, I also want to start working on the city overview. I think I said this last episode. At the end of last episode, I said that we are going to fix the city overview. So basically, the village screen where you see all the buildings and stuff. And also I want to start working on making the pages look more pretty. So now that we've got that behind us, bam, gone. So let's see, I'm currently logged in, logged out. Let's go to the uh, index uh, window and let's log in. Oh, oh yes, oh right, okay. That's something else that I need to fix. Uh, give me a second. Okay, so I've logged in and now I have to go manually go back to the index. And that's something that we will have to fix. We will have to make sure that it automatically goes back to uh, the, or, or continues forwards you to the right page after you have logged out, logged in, whatever. So we will also have to fix that. So first things first, let's fix this little error on the contact page. I think you guys also have that. Um, I believe this is caused by the fact that we are haven't added a variable on the contact page. So let's go into the code. I've already looked at it a little bit. Uh, if you look at the, if you click all, all of this way. Okay, so blank, blank screen. Sorry guys, this is going to be a spaghetti mess. Uh, open the front end folder on the left, uh, depending on which editor you are using, but assuming you're using Aptana, open the front end folder on the left, go into pages. So you can close this one. Go into pages and open index. And you can see we have a global variable called logo here. And now if I go check the contact page, it's missing. So I'm assuming that if I add it and save it and go back to the website, to the game and we refresh, it works. Okay, so that's, 
that's that's fixed that's that's awesome okay so uh let's go back to the index page and as you can see that's now working perfectly um, it's switching and the logo is there it's all working and if we click on the logo we go to the index page so that's awesome so um what i was a little bit afraid of in my previous episodes is showing you guys my weaknesses what i do a lot is go to google and search stuff you know uh, i just don't know everything there, there's these crazy programmers that know the entire library out from the top of their head and they yeah just those guys are nuts and i and i love them but you know that's not that's not how i work for example um if i log out i, I it doesn't automatically redirect me so what i do is if i don't know it out of out of the top of my head i just go to google uh google in this case dot uh, nl which you can use dot com doesn't really matter and you search uh, php redirect because that's what we want um for this is just what i would do if i wouldn't know what to do uh, just to um learn you how to figure out things on your own okay so we will click the first thing and basic answer header location that's simple as crazy so you can just copy and paste it if you are lazy uh, you can also you know uh, type it over that's probably a better way to learn it but in this case i will just copy it because you know that will save us some time okay so let's go to the um, index page and let's go into our editor and click these away uh, close all the all the all those things and we go into the back end account uh, login handling and we go into oh the details are correct right here so uh, the database is checked um, and what is checked is if the uh, username exit and the password exist in the database and are um, and are the same as what the user entered so if it's the same if the login details are correct uh, it needs to automatically um, redirect to the, to the right page so in this case uh, you can just paste it under here right here header location and you can change this guy into uh, index.php and I believe this should work. And and why is there a die at the end? Well, um, if this thing keeps looping or executing, um, it keeps redirecting and you don't want a redirect loop. So just enter a die uh, with parentheses and a semicolon to make sure that the script dies below the header is sent. So basically this is like, uh, this is forcing your browser to go to that page and you don't want it to do anything else after that. You just want to make sure that it goes there. So put the die there and it will be fine. So let's try it out by go by logging in. So let's go to login and enter or McShizzles. Jet coding test one, two, three. Oh, oh, oh the pain. Okay. Okay, that, that's lo that's logical. Um what it's doing, it's it's this this script login handling is in the folder backend slash account slash login uh, dash handling dot php. That's the that's the structure that it's looking in. So if you redirect it to index dot php, it will look inside the folder that the original file is in. So how do you fix this? Well, put a dot dot slash in front of it, and what this will do is go one folder down. However, there's two folders in front of it, a uh, backend and account, so we will have to go down twice, like this. And this should work, I hope. So let's log out quickly. Let's go back to the index file. Let's go to login. And let's try it out. Test one, two, three, bam. Oh, yes. We are, we are, man, we are so pro. We are the best. We, we are so good at this stuff, it's incredible. Okay, so now let's copy this thing and let's go to registration handling. And let's see, uh, account has been added successfully. Below that, you ju just add this. Uh, you just copy it and add it, bam, that's that. Okay, so now when we make a new account, let's try it out. 
And we will fix the logout as well in a second. But if you make a new account, for example, uh, uh, what cactus, the cactus pro, uh, with the email cactus pro at pro dot pro, and uh, you create this account, bam, we are at the index page. However, there's a little problem with this because we are showing a message to the user um, once the login is successful. So if uh, the registration is successful, so an account has been added successfully and you want that message to be displayed. And then after that, you want people to be redirected to that page. So there has to be a little bit of a wait in between those two actions. So how do we do that? Let's, let's check this thing and see, let's check the, uh, the code where we uh, rip from and see if we can find it out. Okay, let's just see. No, this is not what we want. Okay, um, uh, okay. so PHP red redirect after uh, seconds. And uh, let's see what that says, what we get. Okay, here, header refresh. Let's check our code and see how much different that is. That's actually a little bit different. Okay, so let's just copy it for now because we are lazy programmers. And let's go into login uh, dash handling and paste it above it. And you will see it's slightly different. And the five in this case stands for the amount of seconds. We want to wait two seconds before we are redirected to this URL. So let's just uh, switch that over like this. And you can now delete the, the old header uh, line. So just paste it down and let's try it out quickly. Let's try and log in. Jab coding, yes, bam. The details are correct. Two seconds later, we are redirected. That's awesome. Okay, so now we can copy this line, go into registration handling, paste it over the existing line, and now it should work with the registration stuff as well. So let's try it out. Let's make a new account. Um, this is uh, the Cactus Junior Pro. Cactus Junior. This is his little brother or something, pro.pro. .pro. He makes a new account, bam. Account has been added successfully. One, two, bam. Here we go, that's awesome. So there's also a uh, logout action. Details are correct. We wait a little bit, logout. Okay, so we also have to fix this on the logout page. And I have to check for a bit where it's actually located. Dude, dude, because it's been a while. It's been a while, guys. System, maybe? No, that's the config file and the functions. Oh my gosh, where is the... Oh, wait, I think I know where it is. It's probably such a small amount of code that I've probably put it within the, uh, the menu. Let's try out the header file. No. Account actions. Oh, right, okay, here it is. Account actions. So, front end templates account dash actions dot php um, what happens here when we log out the page index index page account is triggered so let's open the index file wait a second wait a second i'm getting confused guys it's probably in functions then functions let's open functions i'm sorry guys I, i'm probably yeah here it is okay so here we here we go guys i'm sorry it's just been such a long time ago that i don't know where to find what exactly after such a long time so in functions.php we now need to make sure that after we are logged out successfully um, we are redirected back to the index page so just press enter make sure there's a new line paste down the, uh, the refresh to the index page, but we need to change the URL a little bit because it's down in system. Oh, no, no, that's not true, actually. It's not in system. It's included, it's required inside index.php. Functions is required in index.php. So it's in a root folder. It's basically at the most top level of the website. So we can just use index.php in the url instead of the uh the dot dot slash dot dot slash uh, in front of it so we can remove that so and here we type die parenthesis open and close semicolon just to make sure that it doesn't keep looping okay so let's log out 
One, two. Yeah, there we go. Okay, it works fine. That's freaking awesome, guys. We are a pro. We are the best. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You know, I just... Let me have this moment, okay? Let me just enjoy this. Lol, 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 add lol, dot lol. Oh, yes. Awesome, okay. Uh, you know what? You know what? Let's uh, let's make those messages actually look a little bit more nice. Like th these. The details are correct. Okay, good for you. But it's, it's fugly. It's not nice. Uh, let's see. How are we going to fix that the easiest way that I know? There's there's several there's several routes that we can take with this. Um, let me think for a second. I can probably yes, I think I know. I think I know how I will do that. Yes, okay. You know what? I'm going to change this because this is not nice. Yes. Okay, I know how to fix this. Uh, let's go. Let's open the pages that um, have the redirect in it. Uh, the, the 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 messages basically. The messages saying the details are correct, or uh, you are logged out successfully, or your account has been added. Uh, open those pages. So log out, uh, registration, and login. I've got them open. And we are redirecting to the index page, but we are also adding a variable. Um, so at a, at behind the PHP uh, extension, you're going to add a question mark um, that says uh, message MSG. So basically a little bit of a short code. Um, this is made up. It, it can be anything. It can be uh, Cactus, it doesn't matter. Just just use something that you can recognize. So MSG is equal to, uh, the details are correct, so this is login. Uh, login, uh, login success, I think it's spelled like that in English. Man, my English. Okay, so just put that behind there and then copy this little piece behind the exten extension. Uh, but st stop copying before the quotation mark. So copy it, go to registration, paste it on the same place, but then change uh, login to registration success. And then go to functions and then behind the index.php, uh, behind the extension, but before the quotation mark, paste it and change it to change login to logout. Okay, so save it and go to the site and try to log out. Okay, so now you can see that uh, behind the index P PHP page, it says uh, quotation mark MSG is equal to logout success. Um, so what this means um, is that basically you are getting a variable and that's a little bit strange okay that's a little bit confusing because if you are registering okay if you are creating an account you are posting um, data to the server the the difference between posting and getting is that posting is hidden it's not visible to the user if i paste this away if i submit you cannot see the values but if you are getting a value so if i log in and we go to the index page basically what you're seeing here is a get variable that that's the get method i will just show you how to get this variable in a second so msg is the variable uh, message and in there is the value inside of that is login success logout success or registration success so what we can do now is once we are on the index page we can check and see if the message is set and if it is set, what uh, message is inside of it and then display the right message on the screen inside of here that has to do with that uh, certain action. So now, um, instead of having this little delay in our header, we can just remove that. 
So let's remo remove it and that should work technically. So let's save this and let's just try it out in a second. Let's remove all the refreshes. I'm not entirely sure this might actually, oh, oh, yeah. Let's save it and let's just try it out. Oh, that's the wrong page. Okay, so we are on the side and let's log out. It's not uh, redirecting. And that's because we are doing this wrong now. Let me get the first example back. This is certainly a little bit confusing for you guys, but just, uh, okay, just, uh, you know, we will be all right. Okay, so let's see. To type this down. So header, uh, oops, header, parentheses open, quotation mark, and then you, your uh, location, so location, uh, what are these guys called again? Well, you know, those. And then under here, you are going to copy this little URL and paste it down in here, in here, like that. And then behind there, you close off with a semicolon. So you can remove this one and remove this one and just, just make sure that this is what it says inside the login uh, dash handling.php. After the details are checked for the login and everything is fine, redirect instantly to the index page with message is equal to login success. So now copy this line and go to registration handling and paste it over here and change login to registration, registration, and let's go to functions, paste it over this line and change it to logout success, like so. And let's see if it works. So let's go to our awesome login screen and let's log in. Yes, it works, it's it's awesome. Oh, this doesn't work because I'm, at, oh no, that's a wrong page. Okay, so this doesn't work because I'm, I'm bad at this. Uh, let's go to the functions page and let's remove the the, the folder depth. Uh, let's just put it down like this and now it should work. Let's try it out. Login, bam, bam, bam. It's working, bam. Okay, but at this moment, it's currently unclear what's happening because there's no longer any messages showing because it's just redirecting so extremely fast that you cannot follow it. So how do we fix this? Well, that's very simple. Let's go, let's just make sure that you've got this all right, okay? It's a little bit of a mess, uh, this uh, this episode, but that's because it's been so long since I last made an episode, so sorry for that. Um, anyways, let's just go to the uh, index page. So that's inside front end slash pages slash index.php, here, here we go. And let's check on our site. This is the index page. Yes, it is. Freaking awesome. So below the uh, paragraph tag with this is the index page inside of it, you are going to open PHP um, like a so and close PHP like a so. I do arrow to the left, question mark PHP, question mark arrow to the right. Very simple. And here, uh, we are going to declare a variable called message. And it is equal to uh, dollar underscore GAT get. And then you are going to get a bracket op to open and it automatically adds the closed one. You are going to add single quotation marks. And inside of it, you, this, you are going to type message. And then you are going to close it off with a semicolon. So what this is doing, it's getting the value inside of a message. Like if we log out, it says message is log out success. It's getting that value and putting it inside the variable MSG. So that's awesome. Um, but we only want this to happen if, if a value is set to MSG. So in front of this, we are going to type if 
uh, what are these guys called? Parentheses. Open and close. Is set. Parentheses open close. And then paste. Paste this guy down in here. You can also type it down if you're a pro, but this is just quicker. So if it's set get message, and then you're going to line break, create a new line, uh, bracket open and close, and pay, uh, uh, cut this guy out of here, paste it in here like a pro. Okay, so if it's set get msg, msg is equal to get msg. That's logical, okay? So this only this piece of code is only executed if MSG is set. That's that's good because if we wouldn't do that, if we wouldn't check if it is set, it would check. It would always assign MSG to MSG if you get to the end of the index page. But that will throw an error if you don't have it set. It will say something like, "Oh no, we haven't got it set, and now the site breaks." And you don't want that. Okay. Anyways, so line break, new line. Um, let's echo this guy. So echo msg dollar msg uh, semicolon. Let's save it and let's go to the index page. Uh, we log in. Okay, we just log in, and it says index. This is the index page. Login success. Awesome. And that's pulled from the URL, and that's awesome because we will use this technique, uh, this method a lot in the future for very simple things. Of course, you don't want to do this for uh, account registration and all that stuff because you can just see the value right here. And that's not something that you want. You want you don't want to see the password right here. That's, yeah, don't do that. Okay, so now, depending on the value of MSG, we can uh, show a different uh, message. But I want it to look awesome, okay? So let's, so if I remember correctly, uh, you guys got bootstrap in this, right? Yes, bootstrap. Awesome, awesome guys. Okay, let's 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 just Google bootstrap because we are noobs. And if you don't know what a noob is, then you are a noob. Okay, so let's see. Getbootstrap.com. Let's open this guy. Components. And on the right, there should be something like a alert. Oh, that's awesome. And now we can copy this guy, the success alert. That's that's this one right here. This one right here. Well done. You successfully read this important alert message. Okay, so let's just copy this this little thing over here. Copy it. Go back to our site. Go back to the editor. And inside of here, ta -ta -ta -ta, instead of echoing MSG, I'm going to now. This is going to be awful if you know programming, but I'm just going to do it because it's easier. Uh, overwrite echo message by typing a close tag and a open PHP tag like so. This is a very bad way of doing this, but it will work, you know. Um, very, un it, It's very easy to understand and it will work, so let's just do it. Inside of here we can use normal code, HTML, which will only be executed if this uh, PHP if statement is true. So that's freaking awesome. You can change the way the site looks depending on PHP values. That's, that's, that's very cool. So in here we paste down the little alert message and we save it and go back to the website and then we refresh and you can see there's this little green thing displaying freaking awesome, but it only displays if message is set. For example, if you go to the index page now, it's gone. But if you go back, it's there. That's awesome. It only triggers when that guy, when that when that guy is set, and it doesn't matter what's inside of there. Uh, I don't foresee any uh, problems with the value that's in there. Okay, so now we need to change the value inside of here. Uh, the dots, depending on. Uh, what the message what the message is so let's find out what the message is so in between uh, dollar message and the closing tag uh break free a new li new line like this like i'm doing right now and type down if parenthesis open close a dollar message is equal to login success yes uh, with quotation marks because it's it's a string 
it's uh, not a number it's not a uh, whatever it's a string so it's a need it needs to be uh, between quotation marks and then at the back you're going to press enter uh, brackets open brackets close freaking awesome and then you are going to override message with you successfully warped in boss okay it doesn't really matter then we need to add two more of these because uh, you know simply said we have two more actions we have registration success and we have logout success so just copy it bam bam very quick and dirty way but it will work so registration what the, what's that that's this little line like messing the screen up you see that yeah see that oh well i will fix it in between episodes anyways change this one to registration success and this one to logout success and then the message that's being overwritten needs to change as well because this is regarding a registration so you successfully um, registered with the nsa okay nice logout success you successfully logged out boss awesome so now okay we the message shown we can just reuse this uh, variable i'm just overwriting it because oh i'm doing something wrong guys i'm sorry this needs to be a double uh comparison mark thingy because is equal to it needs to say is equal to because you are comparing it you are using a single quotation mark a uh, quotation you are using a single com uh, is equal mark when you are setting stuff you are setting this string to this variable but if you are comparing it if you are making sure that it is something you need to make sure that it's two quotation marks so fix that okay it's my fault and then save it okay so what was i saying yes i'm just simply overriding msg because we are not using it again you only have to check it once for the value so just override it it isn't a problem i don't expect it to be a problem so now we need to show this message inside of the alert so overwrite the three dots with an open php tag and a closed php tag and then inside of here you are going to echo dollar msg semicolon and then save it and now if we copy if we uh, refresh the login success you will see you successfully logged in you boss if you log out you successfully logged out boss if you register holy moly holy moly mackerel mackerel how do you say that in english uh extension uh, macro yeah whatever submit you successfully registered registered with the nsa you boss okay that's that's awesome right i think that's very, I, th I think that's awesome i really i really like it there's a little bit of styling to be done with that guy of course because it's like crazy white but you know uh we we, we will fix that later when we get to it uh i just uh no, doing some crazy stuff. I'm doing crazy stuff all the time. We will, we will be doing this later, so don't worry. I just want to show you because I want to uh, end the episode because we are already at 34 minutes or something. So yeah, you can do something like this, and then you can uh, probably float it in the middle like so. Yeah, we will have to think about it. And if I refresh, it's back to gone. Bam, gone. Okay, guys, so yeah, that's it for this episode because, you know, I don't want to make them so long that it gets crazy. Next episode, I want to talk about making our pages look nicer because these square gray blocks are ugly as, as, uh, as, 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 uh, as a bad word, 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 word. And uh, I also want to start working on uh, the village overview, but I've said that before in the past. Uh, you know what let's actually work on the village overview next episode screw the layout let's just focus on the uh, game stuff because that's probably what you guys enjoy most so 
thank you guys for watching and yeah i think there will be a episode one episode a week maybe more i'm not entirely sure we will see so thank you guys and i will see you guys next time bye bye